A very good day to all students. I'm Madam Rohaya Binti Amsari. Today, I'm going through model pengesanan Bahasa Inggeris Percubaan Kertas 2 SPM 2020 from Maran Pahang. Okay, Section A. Section A consists of 15 questions. Alright, we shall start with the first question. Okay. Time suggested is 25 minutes. Okay, question one. The light between oceans. The adaptation of ML Statement's novel of the same name is heartbreaking story of love and sacrifice. Tom Sherborne, Michael Fassbender is the lighthouse keeper on remote Jonas Rock, which is half a day's journey from the mainland. There, he and his young bride, Isabel, Alicia Vikander, live a quiet life, isolated from the rest of the world. Years later, having suffered several miscarriages and grieving a stillbirth, Isabel hears the cries of a gift from God. A boat has been washed up on shore, and in it are a dead man and a baby girl. Isabel convinced Tom, against his better judgment, to raise the baby as their own. The consequences of this decision test their love and morality. Okay, for the first question, based on the drama except above, what can you conclude? Isabel gave birth to a baby girl on the island. Isabel's decision affected the couple's life. Tom and his wife enjoyed living in the mainland or Tom decided to raise the baby girl. So which one is the best answer? Okay, the best answer is D. Tom decided to raise the baby girl. Okay, we continue with the second question. I was telling a friend a story about a crew of a tanker being held hostage by some pirates and for the life of me. I couldn't remember how it ended. I recalled some details for I read a 3,000 word magazine article just a few weeks ago. But try as I might, I could not summon the information I wanted. I pondered on my deteriorating memory. My age is an accomplice, but I know the real culprits are the devices that have replaced books and papers in my life. So which of the following expressions is not related to the writer's feelings of inadequacy about his memory. Okay, A, for the life of me. B, my deteriorating memory. C, recalled some details. Or D, could not summon the information. So which one is the best answer, do you think? Okay, the answer is C, recalled some details. Okay, we proceed to questions three, the Antarctic Peninsula is warming five times faster than the average rate of global warming. 26 years ago, sea ice or ice formed from seawater covered 40% more area of the West Antarctic Peninsula than it does. The decrease of land under ice has led to a decrease in the number of krill, the main source of food for crystal penguins, which have decreased by as much as 30% to 66% in some colonies. Less food has made it more difficult for the young to survive. According to the extract, all statements below are hell, are not sorry, are not true except sea ice covers less land in the Antarctic region now than 26 years ago. 
sea ice, has killed krill, which is food for chin strap penguins. More ice covers more West Antarctic land now than 26 years ago. More sea ice on land has led to lesser chin strap penguins in the Antarctic Peninsula. So the answer is A. Sea ice covers less land in the Antarctic region now than 26 years ago. Okay, we continue to question number four. Okay, question number four. Question four and five are based on the following extract. Statistics of reading in Malaysia. A survey conducted in 2016 revealed that Malaysians read an average of two books each year. The survey results of five, five sorry, of 50,000 Malaysians from all walks of life show that the reading habit is on the decline. Malaysians do not seem to pick up the reading habit. The results also demonstrate that the most preferred reading material is newspaper. 77.7% 77 of the respondents like to read newspapers. This is followed by magazines, 3.5%, books, 3%, comics, 1.6%, and other reading materials, 15%. Reasons cited for not reading. Other interests, 60%. No leisure time, 15.2%. No interest in reading, 13.5%. According to the survey, the most common excuse for not reading is Malaysians A. are busy with work B. find reading not interesting C. prefer other forms of leisure D. are too preoccupied with their daily lives So which one is the answer do you think? Answer is C. prefer other forms of leisure Okay, question five. Which of the following has the closest meaning to the word preferred in the survey? Closest meaning to the word preferred. Is it A, interesting, or B, favorable, or C, appropriate, or D, comprehensible? So which one? Answer is B, favorable. Okay, shall we proceed? All right, we go to question number six. Okay, let's read the text. Easy herbs. Herbs are the easiest way to leave the taste of your food and add an injection of vitamin fill freshness. Basil. Basil is easily grown from seed, but you can buy pots crowded with seedlings for fresh picking. You can just harvest all the leaves and buy another pot. But you can also keep the plant alive for many months. Min. Min is a wonder in summer drinks. And there are dozens of varieties to choose from. Most are strong growers. Large pots are ideal to contain their vigorous roots. Coriander. Coriander can enhance the dish taste, but you'll need to keep it in a cool and shady position and water regularly. Once it starts forming flower heads, let it go and just harvest all the seed. Thyme. Thyme makes a pretty patch of small ground cover and also perfect in containers. It is evergreen in winter and the flowers open in spring and summer. Okay, question number six. Which word has the same meaning as addition? Is it A, versatile, or B, injection, or C, vigorous, or D, evergreen? So what do you think is the answer? The answer is B, injection. All right, we proceed to question number 
Okay. Questions 7 and 8 are based on the following extract. So let us read the extract. Let us read Cupid, the two legged puppy by Lekshine Santiyanadam. February 9, 2017, Canada. Born without front legs, a puppy in Toronto was tied up in a bag and left to die in a trash bin at just a few weeks old. Thankfully, someone passing by heard his whines. He was brought in to the dog rescuers in cooperation who decided to call him Cupid. Thanks to his heart-shaped nose, they gave him Cupid plenty of TLC, made sure he was well fed and set to work on helping him to recover. They noticed that his tail was disfigured and that his missing paws made it incredibly difficult for him to stand. Walk. The dog rescuers work with Paul's ability to feed Cupid with brand new prosthetic front legs made just for him. Cupid's new legs are two aluminium pieces covered with leather and lined with soft fabric that fit close to his body with a special suspension vest. For now, they are fitted with special sky-style feet that work as training wheels to help Cupid learn how to walk. He'll need to walk on building the muscles in his back, leg, as well as his core, and will need to break out of his habit of resting on his back legs and leaning backwards. Slowly, he's making progress. Cupid's currently living in a foster home while he gets used to his new legs. Adapted from Human Interest News, posted on February 13, 2017. Okay, number seven. From the newspaper report, we can conclude that Cupid, A, is left at the rescue center, B, is a brand of new prosthetic front legs. C is lucky to get a second chance in, in its life. D is rescued by the dog rescuers. So what is the best answer do you think? The answer is C is lucky enough to get a second chance in its life. Okay, look at question eight. Which lesson best describe the newspaper report? A. Every cloud has a silver lining. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. C. Take a dog for a, co for a companion and a stick in your hand. D. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. So which one is the best answer do you think? The answer is... A, every cloud has a silver lining. All right? Okay, let us continue, class. Okay, student. Questions 9 to 15 are based on the following passage. Choose the best answer to fill in each blank. Okay, this is uh, uh, the rational clause question. Test you on your grammar items like prepositions, tenses, adverbs, pronouns, and etc. Okay? So now look at the text. The text is Asimo Honda's Humanoid Robot. Okay, first when you attempt this kind of question, you look at the tense use. Okay, look at the first sentence. It walks and runs, even up and down stairs. It can open a bottle. From the tense used here, it is a, it uses what? Present, the simple present tense. So most probably, the answer must be in the simple present tense. Okay, look at the question number nine. 
It walks and runs, even up and down stairs. It can open a bottle, serve a drink, and politely try to shake hands with a stranger. Okay, look at number nine, the suggested answer. With, A with, B between, C and D but. So which one is the best answer? It can open a bottle. Which one is the answer? The best answer is and serve a drink and politely try to shake hands with a stranger. Okay, now look at the next one. Question 10. Hello, New York. Thank you for coming today. The little guy chirped in English, the recorded voice of a teenage boy resembling a tiny astronaut, Asimo, dash, in a white suit and helmet, stands at 1.3 meter tall and weighs at 50 kilogram, Asimo short for advanced step, in innovative mobility was Okay, you look at the answer, uh, you look at the uh, I mean sentences here. Okay, you identify what tense can be used here, is being used here. Okay, in innovative mobility was. So most probably in cases, potentially in cases of reduced mobility. Okay, reduce, R-E-D-U-C-E-D. -E -E so the tense here used is the past tense. Whereas, in the first paragraph, it is in the present tense. So, the answer is in the past tense. So, look at the suggested answer. A, build it. B, deck. C, soothing. D, tiny. Okay, Asimo. So, the best answer is B, deck. Okay, in a white suit and helmet. Okay, now look at number 11. The first model unveiled in year 2000. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, uh, no, uh, sorry, number 11. In innovative, Asimo, short for advanced step in innovative mobility was, okay, was to help people potentially in cases of reduced mobility. So you look at the the tense used here, was, reduced, R-E-D-U-C-E-D, -E -E all these are the past tense form. So your answer must be in the past tense form. So, which one is the past tense form for number 11? So, answer is design. Yes, very good. Okay, D-E-S-I-G-N-E-D, -E -E 11 is a design. Okay, we move forward to number 12. Okay, the first model... Unveiled in year 2000, after 14 years of research, during which scientists studied human movements in an effort to replicate them. Okay? First model. First model means, is it a plural noun or singular noun? First model means, it's a singular noun. So the answer must be in the, is it is or are, was or were? Unveil. Unveil means in the past tense form. So your answer must be in the past tense form, but plural noun. So the answer is C, was. Was unveiled. Alright? So we continue. The latest demonstration highlighted the robot's increased flexibility and balance, as well as sign language abilities. It Okay, now also run at a speed of 9 km per hour. Now it comes back to the present tense. Why do I say that? Because now, present, is in the present tense. So your answer must be in the present tense. So it, you cannot say could. So the answer is, is it A, could? No. Is it B, can? Is it C, should? Or is it D, must? So the best answer is, B, can. It can now also run at a speed of 9 km per hour. Okay, we continue to 
question 14. Researchers think that one day it could help the elderly, say, by getting a snack or turning the lights off when ability to get around is reduced. So, whose ability is reduced? So, so what's the answer? What do you think the answer? Is it A, they? Or is it B, them? Or is it C, they? Or D, themselves? The best answer is C, their ability to get around is reduced. Okay, so we proceed to question 15 now. Asimo was designed to help those in society who need assistance and Honda believes that these improvements in Asimo will bring them another step to another step closer to their ultimate goal of being able to help kinds of people in need. Okay, look at the tense here. Was designed, all right? And Honda believes that these improvements in Asimo will bring them, okay, to help, to help kinds of people in need. So which one is the best answer? Okay, what kinds of people? Number 15. Okay, the answer is all kinds of people in need. Okay, that's the end of section A. Welcome back, students. Now we proceed to section B. Section B, time suggested is 25 minutes. Okay, and the marks allocated is 10 marks. Okay. This is questions 16 until 25. Read the text article below and answer the questions that follow. What is acid reflux? Our stomach is a highly acidic place. Parietal cells in the stomach wall produce hydrochloric acid, a strong acid with a pH of 1.5 to 3. To break down the food we consume. This acid is so concentrated that if you were to place a drop on a piece of wood, it would eat right through it. Then there is a muscular ring called the esophageal sphincter muscle, which lies between the end of the esophagus, the food pipe which transports food from our mouth down to our stomach and the beginning of the stomach. It acts as a valve to keep stomach acid in the stomach. However, due to the effects of certain food and lifestyle factors, this muscle may sometimes not function well enough to prevent gastric acid from flowing up into the esophagus. When this happens, it causes burning pain as the acid erodes the esophageal wall. This is known as acid reflux or heartburn. A recent survey conducted by the National Heartburn Alliance in the US revealed that 92% of frequent heartburn, sufferers point to food as the primary cause of digestive discomfort. The key to preventing acid reflux is to minimize or avoid indigestion of certain foods, including chocolate. Bad news for chocolate lovers. Chocolate seems to cause more reflux than any other food due to its caffeine, cocoa, and high fat content. Coffee and tea. High levels of caffeine in coffee and tea lead to increased secretion of gastric acid in stomach, which may cause acid reflux. Carbonated drinks, soft drink, energy drinks, or carbonated water, such as puree, increase pressure, levels in the stomach, which in turn increases the acidic response. 
mean? Helper mean relax the sphincter muscle, allowing stomach acids to flow back into the esophagus. Prevention method. Lose weight if you are obese. Obesity is the leading cause of acid reflux as extra stomach fat places pressure on your abdomen, pushing gastric juices up into your esophagus. Do not smoke. Nicotine has a relaxing effect on the esophagus sphincter muscle and interferes with the process of saliva, effectively clearing acid out of the esophagus. Avoid tight clothing at abdominal area. Snug clothing puts pressure on the stomach and worsen the discomfort and pain. You have read, all right, now we try to attempt the question. Okay, question 16 until 19. Using the information from the text or article, complete the table below. Okay, acidic pH scale. Question 16. Answer. 1.5 to 3. Effect of acid on wood. Number 17. Answer. Eat right through it. Muscular ring. Esophageal splinter muscle causes. Question 18. Answer. Effects of certain food. Another answer, causes for number 19. Answer, lifestyle. Based for questions 20 and 25, based on the information in the text article, fill in the dialogue with a suitable answer. Okay, use not more than three words. Okay, you look at the rubrics. Okay, mention there, your answers must, must be not more than three words. If you answer more than three words, automatically your answers are wrong. So another thing you must make sure your spelling must be correct. If your, if your answer, if the answer is wrong, I mean the spelling of the answer is wrong, still your answer is considered as wrong. Okay, for question, okay let us read through first. Okay, good morning, doctor. Good morning, how can I help you? Okay, this is a, a conversation between a doctor and a patient. Morning, doctor, I'm not feeling well and always get heartburn. How can this happen, doctor? Actually, there is a muscular ring called the esophageal splinter muscle, which lies between the end of the... Okay, for question number 20, the answer is... Esophagus and the beginning of the stomach. It acts as a valve to keep stomach acid in the, in the stomach. However, due to the effects of certain foods and lifestyle factors, this muscle may sometimes not function well enough to, okay, question 21, from flowing up into the esophagus. Question 21, the answer is prevent gastric acid from flowing up into the esophagus. Is there any food that I should avoid to prevent heartburn? Yes, of course. Food is the primary cause of digestive discomfort. So you should avoid chocolate because it seems to cause, question number 22, than any other food. Other foods you should avoid are coffee and tea, carbonated drinks and mint. Answer for question 22 is more reflux. Oh no, I'm a coffeeholic. No wonder the pain keeps repeating. Doctor, is it true that I should lose some weight as a prevention method? I've heard that 
is the leading cause of acid reflux? For question number 23. Answer number 23. Obesity is the leading cause of acid reflux? Exactly. Nicotine also one of the factors of acid reflux. So, and you should avoid tight clothing. So, number 24, answer. So, do not smoke. And you should avoid tight clothing at question 25 since it puts pressure on stomach and worsens the discomfort and pain. Okay, thank you, doctor. Okay, answer for question 25. Abdominal area. Okay, you should avoid tight clothing at abdominal area since it puts pressure on stomach and worsen the discomfort and pain. Okay, that's the end of section B. Thank you to all students.